Events in the global financial markets over the last few weeks foretell a world of uncertainty and instability that will have an adverse impact on the economies of developing countries and St. Lucia will not emerge unscathed. Prime Minister Stevenson King, in his address to the nation on Monday, urged St. Lucians to brace for the effects of the financial fallout. Tourism is expected to be hardest hit. As job losses increase in the U.S., U.K. and other parts of Europe, and oil prices remain high, people are expected to cut back on travel. The Prime Minister says St. Lucia will begin feeling the effects early next year. The crisis is likely to impact the sector mainly through the decline in visitor arrivals in the medium term. Notwithstanding, based on advanced bookings, indications are that the UK market is expected to perform favorably during the coming winter season. The forecast for the cruise season is promising in terms of estimated cabin numbers. We are therefore likely to start experiencing some adverse effects early in the new year. King says government is exploring initiatives to cushion the impact for St. Lucians. This follows an announcement last week that government cannot continue subsidizing food and energy products. But he says the relief for consumers has already started, with the increase in the number of items under government price control. The government fixed wholesale and retail margins on a number of basic products consumed by the average family. We went even further and doubled the number of items on the list of price control items from 22 to 44. These include baby fruit juices, cheese, corned beef, mackerel, tuna, tea bags, salted biscuits, margarine, toilet and powdered soap, toothpaste, and fertilizers. The Prime Minister says St. Lucians must now make the personal sacrifices and lifestyle adjustments needed to endure the changing financial landscape. The implementation of cost-saving measures such as carpooling, increased use of public transportation, growing of kitchen gardens, recycling and use of energy-saving bulbs can go a long way in easing the burden on families. The news of the global financial crisis is heating St. Lucia as locals face rising food prices and cost of living. The Prime Minister says government now has added pressure to secure revenue as a result of the double-digit percentage increase in public servant salaries. He says it is now time for St. Lucians to curb spending where possible and save more as no one is sure when the crisis will end. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.